boys and girls, this can't be a good thing. A 24 volt tool in water. Hmm, let's see what happens. And as I do this video today, it is September 11, 2021. It is the 20th anniversary of 9 11. And I want to take a moment to remember that day, all those that gave their lives in the buildings, in the planes that went down, the uh, firefighters and the police officers that um, went there to help save people, and also in the aftermath, the people that uh, got sick and those that passed away from um, trying to uh, rescue people at the Twin Towers after the uh, incident so I want to take a moment so that we never forget so guys you may have seen the video that I did with the flex FX 2141 seven and a quarter inch 24 volt cordless circular saw where I put it in water and it couldn't destroy it. it kept running I think it was about an hour and a half later it just kept running the thing still runs so today I thought it might be interesting to try this 24 volt brushless reciprocating saw it's the flex FX 2271 let's see how this thing will hold up the current price for this tool is $249 with a charger and a battery included. Lowe's item number 2590099, model FX2271-1C. So I just bought this thing and this thing comes with a 5 amp hour lithium battery. And uh, this thing is a beast. So let's verify that it does operate. As in my other video that I did with the other flex and I even did one with a cobalt saw this is the commander XXL 27 gallon storage container uh, pretty much full of water I believe just about much is that was uh, in the other videos like before I've got a timer that I'm going to use and when I dunk this we will start the timer and we'll see what happens. Now it stopped, but I think that's because of the water pushing up against things. Yep, I think it's the water against those blades there, you know, uh, the uh, resistance. Let's put it underwater. Let's see what happens. I'll see it wants to start. You'll notice there. And it stops. So I did the same thing, just the resistance of that water holding it back. Well, guys, we're coming up on six minutes here. Let's take this thing out. Let's see what happens. Look at that. A 
Well, let's see what happens here. Could just be that, uh, there it is, there it is. Pretty amazing, guys, pretty amazing. All right, the test continues. Guys, we are at 20 minutes right now. You'll notice those lights flashing. I'm not really sure what that means. Let me get the water out of it. Let's see what happens. I don't know if it's... Actually, I think it's when the... Let's, let's look at that. I think it stops when the battery goes in. There we are. You can hear the, the resistance of the water going into the tool, obviously. Where it slows down there. And it finally stops when the battery makes more contact with the water but the thing is still running guys we are approaching 55 minutes let's take a look Well, boys and girls, that is truly amazing. There we are, still running. Guys, we are approaching one and a half hours. Let's take a look.
Well guys, that is pretty damn phenomenal. I think we're going to call that quits. It proves that this thing will hold up under a thunderstorm if it was outside with absolutely no issues, just like the flex circular saw. Very amazing tools.